Every time I do this, it gets easier and easier. Now I'm going to plan my day, go into my notion and I plan my top three priorities for the day. So I'm not like scatterbrained. My dog likes to stop every two seconds. Just when we're getting some good exercise, he decides to stop and pee on every single tree. <laughs> okay, so I just saw a girl with her dog on a run. Do we elevate Toby? Do we go on runs with Toby? I think it might be a big step up for him. Comment below your thoughts. Yes. This mango chunk won't. Guys, I have to literally cut it. Oh, yes. Lord, won't he do it? That's so much mango, but like, it's fine. I have nothing left. Happy Tuesday. Right now we're getting ready for the day. I have a prayer night I'm going to with my church and I might be going to beach volleyball later. Oh my goodness, I almost got toner in my smoothie. This morning I thought we would do a little big sis chat. Something God is teaching me is that every time you say yes to something, you say no to an infinite amount of other things. You say yes to waking up early. You say no to sleeping in. You say yes to focusing on a goal that God is giving you to pursue. You say no to every other opportunity that comes your way. I could be wrong, but I think that the enemy's greatest tactic to get us off mission and off focus is to distract us with things that look like they're good things, but aren't necessarily the things that God wants us to do. It's like right when you're getting focused is when the enemy throws all these distractions your way. And you're like, but these look fun. And the Lord's like, but they're not your things to do. They're not for you, sis. I'm learning this heavy right now. I feel like I'm just getting focused on what God is telling me to do. But then just as I'm getting focused, there's all these distractions that are coming up. The spirit of God might be putting things on your heart of just some opportunities you've been tempted to say yes to that maybe you need to be saying no to. I tend to say yes because I'm afraid of missing what God has for my life. A friend had to remind me the other day, no purpose of God can be thwarted. I don't need to be afraid of saying no to things that I don't feel like are the things that God wants me to do. You're not going to miss what God has for you. We have our three drinks. Mr. Stan, smoothie with protein in it. And then we have our coffee. 